Cause hello, who is Talis Taro who in the house? I'm, <laughs> and I'm, I'm reading today to let to find out how y'all know they're the one. Hey, hey, he, he. all right, how y'all doing? How will Aries know when they've met the one? What are the biggest standouts? that they'll recognize when they've come across the one. From 2022 to 2024, I just chose a two-year time span randomly, all right? There's no reason behind the two, all right? But just, I just wanted to give it some time, all right, to play out. How will Aries know when they've met the one, like the one they're going to be with? Like, how will Aries know? Well, it's like, almost like it's going to be you're going to feel like it's almost like an instant connection, instant. And they're older. They're, either, they're around your age or older. All right. They could have grays. For some of you are just around your age or older. All right. So I get them being a mature energy, something that's not uh, immature. All right. They're also almost, okay. They're also out of a relationship around that time. There's like this person that they're like uh, divorced from or broke off with. All right, or they're just they're somebody that they're not on the same terms with is what I get. All right. So it's almost like the biggest indicator is first of all, are they around your age or older? That's check one, right? I'm also getting for some of you, there's like a, they could have like salt and pepper hair, or like I get like grays, like dark hair with some grays thrown in. All right, is what I feel. How else will Aries know they've met the one? How else will they know? They could be actually of native ancestry. All right, so they could be somebody that's like Native American, or I get they're American. I watch the people in another country go, Tyler, what the hell am I going to meet an American? Well, I don't know. It's just going to somehow happen. Bye, see ya. This person has, okay, they're, it's very specific. I get to meeting this person around your age or older, has a Native, has background in Native, like Native ancestry, all right? Like Native American, all right? I actually feel like this is going to be a decent connection for you. Tarot, how would Aries know when they've met the one they're going to be with? They also may have like a, um, they got wars and battles. So I get this person also like a little squabble. All right. That's what that turns them on to have a little squabble or a little back and forth. So you may feel like when you met them, like when you know, like the, you'll feel like they're purposely starting things. They like to rile you up. All right. Is what I feel. I also get this energy. They could have some type of military background. Well, these bitches stop calling me. What is it? Like somebody keeps calling. Hello? Then they hang up. Like, why are you going to call me and then hang up? Like, come on. They've been calling me from Georgia. It's like I don't even live in Georgia no more, fools. All right. What else can you tell me? How will um this per how will Aries know exactly when they've met this individual? All right. They could be under the sign of Scorpio or water sign. Look out for a water sign. They don't have to be. Keep in mind, this stuff could be switched. You may not meet somebody, nothing like this, or that's nothing like this. But for a lot of you, it's picking up on generally how you would know. All right. Thanks, Christian Lynn. Thank you so much. Thanks for the 10 Nova Loon. Thanks, Nadia, for, as always. Thank you. Thanks, Nova, Nova Loon, as always. Thanks, Christian Lynn. Thank you. I get for some of you, this person, I get this sense of genuinity. Genu is that the word? I, I get this sense. I don't think that's the word. I get the sense of genuineness when it comes to this person. I get a genuine energy. And they may have Native ancestry and Native American ancestry. Don't think because they're not running around in the most stereotypical looking a native wear. All right. They ain't got to be with a feather headrest and all. Listen to me. It could be a white bitch that has a native ancestry. It could be a black, a black person that has native uh like ties to Native American history. All right. I felt the need to tell you it's not. I just feel like they, they have it as, as ancestry. It's not something that they may wear on their daily, like, the way it comes up to me, I got to go with what I get. It's almost like it's there, but it's not something that they go around saying a lot or that they wear it on them, all right? Bye, see ya. I thought, I'd like to think I lost weight. I stopped my weight gain medication and for almost three weeks now, and I already feel like I'm getting back to normal. They are decent. They're around your age or older. I get a salt and pepper look, or like they may have dark hair with like, like grays thrown in here and there. All right. 
I get a little bit of a native ancestry. Could have a tan, all right, is what I feel. I get more dark featured than anything, all right? A dark featured person, not some blonde person or light featured. I get them more like, like tan. It could be somebody that one way you know, either they mentioned wanting kids or they could already have them present. I'll put it out there, all right? Aries, what's the biggest indicator? I'm sorry, it's all over the place, but what is the biggest giant? What will say to Aries? Yep, that's the yep, that's the one. Oh, they got money. That's the biggest indicator. What are you talking about? So let me tell you something. But tell her, I'm not about money. I like the heart. Well, bitch, the heart don't pay the bills, but the money does. Thanks for the 20, Miss Kimmy. They got money. The biggest thing you'll know if it's them, do they got savings or money? I don't know why I want to do this, but I'm going to do it. Is it savings or money there? If they can't afford you a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of, that ain't the one. Guess what? Because it's somebody that can buy you something good. All right? Bitch. This is somebody where they could take you on a fancy date and it wouldn't really be that big of an issue. All right. Like not a bitch that would take you to McDonald's and tell you to order off the dollar menu. Not that type of hope. All right. Around your age or older, I get some about gray hairs or has salt and pepper possibly. I get darker featured. I'm not saying they're like they could be a white person with a tan. They could be somebody that's darker. I get the more so I don't get blind and strawberry blind or dishwater blind. I get like energy of somebody that's got dark features like medium brown to dark brown hair could even be black hair somebody like that all right because they're coming up as dark featured now one big one thing that may really irritate you is their inability to let a past thing go or past experiences go you may feel like they're halting y'all's connection due to their how they came in with these baggages with past stuff all right whatever the case may be just keep that in mind bye see ya it feels like a genuine person to me bye see ya all right they also may be into weird beliefs like aliens or things in the star system. I just got galactic. But it could be like, I get this energy. They could be into like conspiracy theories or weird beliefs surrounding space. All right. Bye. I'm not connecting today. How, 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 how do I know if I'm connecting? This is predictions. Who gives a shit, right? Let's go to Taurus now. And I get they could be a water sign. They don't have to be, but I think they got a big water influence. They kept coming up as a water sign. They don't have to be a water sign. They may be a super emotional person as well when you meet them. Biggest indicator is they got money. All right. Okay. Thanks, Marissa, for the 10. They are so generous. Thank you. Thanks, Miss Kimmy. Let's see. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Let's see. What? Okay. Can you tell me how Taurus would know if they've met the one when they meet them in the next two years? How they would know? <laughs> Could be an air sign. I laugh because Taurus, just hear me out. This is the first impression I got. This is a very practical person. I want to even say they may be a penny pinching type. Listen, so I'm saying, listen to me. They could be a penny pinching type. The way they come up to me is somebody who ha who is stable, but it's like I get this being like a person that likes to be cheap or somebody that doesn't like to spend a whole lot. They could even be somebody that has their own stuff, but you wonder how they have all that all that savings accumulated. Like, how do they get that? I don't know if they're out of work around that moment or if it's just that they don't have to work as hard because they, I get them having their own home. Oh, I got to tell you what I get it. I got to tell you how I get it. I'm sorry. Thanks for the five, Jackie Campbell. Marissa, thank you. Like, I'm not saying they're a bum. What I'm saying is I don't get somebody who is super like lavish with their spending. It feels like somebody that may be a little bit more frugal when it comes to the uh, spending. be an air sign they either one don't want kids or they don't like kids all right i don't know what that's supposed to mean let's hope they don't have them because how are you gonna ha have kids and don't like kids but let's just hope that's this is i'm just gonna throw that in there because i have children reversed all right how else will um taurus know if they met their person <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> all 
Now, yours may have a native Thai too. It doesn't have to be. I got Asian and native. They're mixed. They're mixed. Yeah, they got a mixture of different things. All right, mixed. I get a mixed cultured person. Flip it up. Could be religious to some degree, or like have you know beliefs. I get beliefs with them. All right. They don't like drama. So if you're looking for a hoe that don't like drama, well, you're about to find this hoe, this bitch, right? Don't like drama. So if you can't shut the fuck up or keep your fucking mouth shut, or if you can't stop being a drama king or queen, it ain't the one for you because you're going to scare them off. So if you're a Taurus that likes a little bit of a squabble drama, bitch, go ahead and keep wait, wait, wait till the next one comes in because this ain't the one for you. I get very drama free. And Taurus, I want to ask you, a, a, I want to say something real quick. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask your future self to put a sock in it and shut the fuck up. All right. I know you. I know that sounds rude. Whenever I feel the need to say shut the fuck up, you may be somebody who um, says ridiculous things or unwarranted things. Uh, you may be a bit dramatic. I don't think this person likes drama. So I, I think I think I want to tell your future self to shut the fuck up. All right. And keep your fucking mouth zipped. All right. Don't run your mouth until you get this person in a commitment, all right? Don't go, start, don't start showing your real self until you got them in a commitment, all right? And then go off. Because I feel like the drama would scare them away, any type of drama you bring their way, all right? You say it makes no sense now. You say it makes no sense now. Nobody said it yet. I'm sure they're saying this under their breath. You say it makes no sense now, but watch it happens. Damn, Tyler was right. I don't get them being a super spender. I don't get them. I get them being more frugal than anything, right? And I get this energy. Now, here's where I'm having a hard time capturing the story here. All right. Here's where I'm having a hard time capturing the storyline. They either one is somebody that doesn't have to work as hard. They make decent money. They don't have to like work tooth and nail to get money. Or some of you, they could even be retired or somebody that, that's got good stuff going for them, but I don't get them being this super person that has to work super hard. I don't know where that's going to come into play. I could be totally wrong, but I, I don't know if it's retirement necessarily or if it's somebody who doesn't have to put tons of energy into something and get maximum income. I feel like they get, they make decent income, all right, is what I feel. I don't get like a broke person, but I also get, what's so funny is I get a frugal person at the same time. So they may like to save money or are they very conscious with spending. I don't get somebody that's like the wine and dining type or somebody that would give you flowers and all that stuff or give, I kind of get somebody that's just very practical. All right. Be it. Should get that out. Sorry. Let's see what Tarot wants to add to it. How would a uh, tourist know when they've met their individual? No, I'm from Georgia. They may like the drink. They like the drink. <laughs> it's very attractive though. I guess you got something good going for you. <laughs> it could be a fire. So look out for a fire with water or a water with fire. They may have a sun sign that's water. Yeah, I'm starting to look. I told you. People say Zoloft didn't make you gain weight. Yes, it did. I've been off it for. Make it make sense as to why I've lost five pounds, five or six pounds in three weeks ever since I stopped taking Zoloft. When I was still on it, I couldn't drop nothing. All right. No, it don't make you gain. Yes, it does. Believe me. I had a bunch of people say, Tyler, no, don't quit. No, it does. I can already tell I'm slimming down. Um, water, fire, very attractive. But there's something about their spending. I don't know how you like your people to be, Taurus. I ain't in your life. I don't know what your type is. But if you're somebody who doesn't like cheap, frugal people, this may not be the one for you. All right. So, I get they're attractive. They also like to drink or they have a, yeah, drink. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to uh, Gemini now. Okay. Thanks for the five. It's Black Barbies. Thank you so much. Thanks for the 10, um, Cat Mills. How will Gemini know? I just got fire in my head. It could be a fire sign. Gemini, when do you not pull fire? Here I am channeling it. Or there's somebody who acts like one. What? The, why do they act like a like attention? 
They may like to look good too. I get somebody that likes attention, that likes to look good. Could be a very flirtatious person. All right. Could be somebody. Thanks, thanks, Heather, for the hundred. Thank you so much. I appreciate. It. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure you're watching me in 1080p. I'm in 1080p. What can you tell me? They're shy. Career woman or man. They do like to work. This one has a career. Like they got something that they do primarily that makes them money. It's a career. All right. What I feel. So they do, they definitely are employed. I'm hoping they're not already married or in a relationship. I'm hoping that when you meet them, they're not like this because I got obstacle and union. So it's very possible that your future lover that you're going to end up with is involved. All right. I hope, hoping not or somebody that could be fresh out of something. All right. Clearly, if they're dealing with you. It's like something must be going wrong with that. All right. And they're fair skinned. Fair skinned could be younger with fair skin or older mulatto or Look, how do they come up with the dark male and the fair male? Oh, so it could be any color, really. But for some of you, it's, it's emphasizing they may be mixed like me. I know, Gemini. I, I am the one you seek. It can't be me. I look, I'm taken for one. But there's only one Tyler, uh, right, people? There's only one ty Tyler, okay? Just joking, all right? Go along with it. But they could actually be, folks, I wouldn't be surprised if they're black and white, like mixture, or it's almost like, they could be any color. Let me just go and put that out there. Like they're coming up with a white male, dark male, white female, dark female, whatever you're into. Why am I getting that? They could be like, um, if they're not like full on mulatto like me, I would say more so they're kind of like, this is so weird. They may be multicultural. I'll put it there's something about the race that's of significance with this person. All right. All right. I'm just going to put that out there. I don't, I don't know who gives a shit, right? Why am I feeling like for some of you, they could already be, they could already be involved. Clearly, you're going to end up with them. It's the one for you. Unfortunately, your future forever lover is somebody who may be attached. But guess what? You'll be a home wrecking bitch that ends up with the prize. Yeah, I said it. Because guess what? Whether they're involved or not, you're going to be the hoe or the bitch they want. Sorry for saying hoes. You're going to be the bitch they want. Gemini, marriage is in your future. I don't, I don't believe in marriage. Yes, it's in your future. What are you talking about? No, I'm just looking to have somebody that is just there. For, no, get, don't don't spread that shit with me. You can say that to your little friends and they'll listen to you complain and give grievances. I won't. It's a marriage. Nothing less than that. Why am I wanting to yell and scream? Maybe I'm just crazy. But for me to sit here and want to yell and scream... You're one of them bitches that likes to protest that you don't want nothing that's marriage. Yeah, you do. Yes. Why am I protesting this? What is the significance of me protesting you being married one day? That means that you pro that means that you have a this thought, like I'll never get to that point. I don't want that. I'm okay with just having a boyfriend or having a girlfriend, whatever you're into. I don't want the husband or the wife. Yeah, you do. Guess what? And you'll have that. Don't don't protest me. You know what I'm saying nobody has, but I know that you. I know in your head you're going that fat fuck. I don't want that, but I ain't gonna say nothing. You gonna start calling me all kinds of bitches and stuff. I don't care. Don't heckle me because that's your future marriage. And stop trying to downplay it like it's not something that you look forward to. It is. All right. Something about races of significance. I'll leave it at that. I don't know what that means. All right. What do you want to tell? Uh, okay, Terrell, how else would uh, Gemini know? What indicates that this is the one? Okay, okay. It's not, they actually make decent coins. Are there somebody that they could have a business or own one or somebody who, you know, they don't own one. I get their business savvy. Like, a, I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised. I would be surprised 
if he came back and told me that in their work that they're not like top level or that they're in a high position or somebody that's working their way up the ladder, but if they seem like somebody who's really decent with money or decent has money or I got savings with them, I don't get a broke person. I'm not saying they're super rich, but I'm not saying they're like poor. I don't get a poor energy about it. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or give me one more sign they could be. I just is a decent person. My only problem, they'll drop everything for you, everyone and everything. Your person may be already attached when you meet them or they're fresh out of something. You'll be the person that heals them and takes them in a connection that's meant for them. They may have stuck with a shitty connection just for familiarity. You'll be the bitch that takes them away from that. Yeah, I said it. But I don't want somebody that's I want somebody that's single. Bitch, do you who isn't who the fuck isn't involved with something these days? All right. Don't give don't spare that shit to me. All right. Don't spur that shit to me. Why am I so snappy? Gemini, you just make me go off. Look what you made me do, Gemini. Bye. See ya. Have a good one. Very decent person. All right. Something about race is in there. Just going to put that out there. All right. How do you come up as the dark person and the fair person? Make that make sense. There is something about race that is of significance with this individual. It can be as simple as it, simple as it's a white person that tries to act very soul, you know, like an Eminem type. <laughs> Or like a Bruno Mars, you know, the culture vultures. It could be a culture vulture, you know. You know, like there's black folks that like white culture things. So it could be like a switch of that, or it could be literally about race. But I'm for some of you, they're a culture vulture. Like if like somebody by like a Justin Timberlake or a Bad Baby or a um Eminem, biggest culture vulture there is. Um, you know, the type of bitch that tries to adopt a certain culture for their benefit. Bruno Mars, a big coach. Iggy Azalea. What, bitch, who speaks like that over in fucking Australia? Little Sally Walker eyes. Bend it over, let a wobble up. They don't talk like that over in Australia. Why are we getting into race talk? Oh my God, what is going on with me? All right. I mean, what what Australian? Can you explain that to me, Iggy Azalea? Why are you trying to act like you're from the hood? I be that I G T Y. Put my name in both. I've been working on my business with some change throughout. Like, who? What Australian you know talks like that? Like who that? Who that? I G G Y. You don't talk like that. Take your ass over there with the kangaroos and the fucking koalas and call it a day. Stop trying to steal somebody's culture. That gets my fucking nerves. All right. Bye. See ya. Why are we having this? Gemini, see what you do to me. No more Gemini reads from now on. They always got me popping off left and right. All right. Okay. If it's not Gemini, there's something about race with them. I'm telling you, I'm not going to get off of this topic because you don't want to hear it. Something about race will pop up with the connection. There's something about it that just kind of stands out. I don't know what, but it stands out. All right. Bye. See ya. Thanks for the 10, Wendy Martin. And thank you always, as always, Heather Stewart, for your big contributions. I appreciate you. All right. I got to do my, uh, if you're waiting on your cameo, I'm starting them today. I'm, I'm knocking out five a day. It's 15. So if you're not amongst the first five, then you'll be a part of the next five. I'm going to do them right after this live. So if you're waiting, don't worry. I'm doing them today. All right. You think so? All right. Let's go to Leo now. What sign are we doing? Wait, aren't we doing cancer? Why is that Leo? We're doing cancer. What the hell is going on? Okay. All right. How will cancer know when they've met their individual? How will, they, how will cancer know when they've met their individual? The one they're going to be with, not some fly-by-night person. I'm talking about the head, the real person, all right? The bitch you're going to be with for a long time. They don't like to go out. Scratch it. Scratch it. They don't like to go out. So if you're a bitch that likes to go out, they don't like to, all right? They're like a homebody. 
I don't even get the other type. This is the type of bitch I'm picking up with. Cancer, the biggest, you ain't got to sit there and watch all these multiple readers. Just watch me. Listen to me, Cancer. This is the biggest, I, this is the biggest way you'll know if it's them or not. Do they like to go out? If the answer is no, that's a big sign. I don't get them being rich. I got to go ahead and, let, I'm gonna go ahead and just break, burst their bubble. They ain't rich. All right. This is somebody, you know what the indication I get? You're going to be very, it, don't be sweat. Listen to me. It's the type of bitch that don't even want to meet your family. I said it. Oh, God. Potato. Let's go for cover. What are we going to do, Chuck? We're going to go for cover. Oh, my God. Because they, they're going to start protesting. Bitch, we got to go underground. They're going to start protesting over here in Summerlin. Yeah, I said it. I get them being somebody that likes you to themselves. They don't like, listen to me. They go. They don't go out much. Listen to me. The biggest indicator you'll get, you'll think, well, they don't like meeting nobody. They don't want to meet. Like, I got to get this inner, don't tell me what's weird. They don't like to go out much. Biggest indicator right there. I can go ahead and tell you off the bat. If you feel a sense of resistance when, it's, when you want to go out and they don't want to go out, I get them being more about homebody or somebody that doesn't really like, why, the flash I got in my head is they're the type that don't even want to meet your mama. I'm sorry. I said, not saying they won't, but what I'm saying is I don't get them being over the moon about meeting family and stuff. All right. Okay, here we go. I don't get them being super rich or somebody that's got money, like a lot of money. I'm not saying they're like dead broke, but I don't get somebody that has like super money. All right. How else will they know when they've met their person? When cancer know that the person they're going to be with. It could be a Pisces water. Everybody's getting water, or a fire sign. Very passionate person. Like they'll be all, all team cancer. They'll be team cancer all the way. So don't doubt that. Just because I've said some bullshit, some crazy shit, don't doubt that they won't be. Because I get them being super into you. The type of person, when they meet you, they ain't going to go nowhere. All right, is what I feel. They also could have, one. they'll also mention that their ex cheated on them or something like that, or that a bitch cheated on them. What I got was, well, if it's not cheating, I, I got to go with what I get. I can't keep second guessing myself. What I get is, what I get is they may mention or you'll find out that they were done wrong by some ex and it could involve that the ex cheated on them or if it's not a cheating, are they like, they'll mention their ex, but in a very negative way, not in a positive way. It's not the person that's going to come in going, I love my ex. No, they fucking despise the whore. All right. I get them being with you. Don't tell me what the, I get them being like, Cancer, I'm telling you the biggest sign. You can sit here and you can say, no, I feel like my, my spirit guides told me already. Well, if your spirit guides are telling you the, me the, the messages, why are you asking me? Why are you coming to me? They always tell me, no, my spirit guides told me that they're tall, glass of milk, nice shoes, you know, only one arrest on record, um, spent time in, in you know, uh, Jacksonville State Prison. I don't care what your guides have told you. Your guides are not doing this reading. I don't have a gift myself. Well, go use it and stop worrying about what's, what I'm talking about then. I'm telling you, the biggest indicator that this is your person is they don't like to go out. They're a homebody. Listen to me. They're a homebody. Well, that's it. And I'm not getting super rich. I don't get super rich. All right. I don't even get like lots of money, but I get somebody that's decent and it's all team cancer. All right, you're the reason, like that. The, the, you're the reason for the air they breathe, the reason their heart beats. Like I get romanticism with them, like somebody that wants to be with you. I kind of get a clingy feel. All right, with this person, they'd be clingy type. All right, the type of bitch that wants to know where you're at at all times, and they'll mention something about a bitch that did them wrong. All right, they have. Uh, they could be at a distance, or they like to travel. So you can meet them from a long distance, or they are distant, or they just like to travel. Something about a ship or traveling. They may be in the water as well, like swimming, stuff like that. Who gives a shit, right? I'm telling you, they're, I'm telling you, it keeps talking about something about a previous relationship of theirs that burned them. And believe me, they'll tell you all about it. All right. So if that ain't, if 
it, it doesn't have to be like that, but this is what I'm getting. All right. I don't know why I'm yelling. <laughs> These have turned <laughs> These have turned into lectures. These are you tarot reads. The whole time I'm lecturing. Okay. These are bitch fest. I'm having a bitch fest up here. I get paid to scream and yell like a banshee and act like a crazy person. There's a nut house somewhere with my name on it. Just putting that out there. All right. I literally get paid to talk shit and uh, call people all kinds of bitches and be weird. So, I mean, what 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 more could you ask for in life? All right. That's an Aries wet. That's a wet dream for an Aries to be able to be paid to talk shit. Ain't that right, Aries? Bye. See ya. Let's go to uh, Leo now. Okay. Okay, here we go. How will you know if you've met this individual? All right, here we go. How will you know when you've met this individual, Leo? That's the question of the of the month or of the last the next two years, I should say. Not a control freak. So they're not gonna be the type that has to control you. I don't get them being super vain or really about their physical. So I don't know if there's somebody who's slouchy or somebody that's not super about the physical. I even get they may have esteem issues. I don't get a big looker with this person, but I get they're genuine, but not a looker. Kind of cold. Been burned. Been burned. Who hasn't in this day and age? But yours is being emphasized, all right? I don't get a looker or somebody that's like super flashy. So you're done with a bitch where you feel like they're just super, they ain't them. This is the person who I don't get a super flashy feel, all right? I don't even get there somebody that's like super fashionable or somebody, I just kind of get this energy of somebody who's kind of laid back, all right? They do like to go out. I get that they're the type that likes to go out, all right? Thanks for the 20 PG. Thank you so much. And they got money. Here's the, where's the thing I'm getting about this, though? Here's the thing I'm getting about this. It says somebody, I get a genuine feel. You'll know when you meet this person. Very gen- I don't get a big looker. I get somebody who's kind of laid back. I even get esteem issues. I don't get like a flashy attention whore type of individual. Kind of more laid back and subdued is what I get it. Kind of cold. All right. Doesn't show their emotions that easily. All right. And they got money because the one big, they got the big money card. So it's somebody, I don't get them being super flashy though. I kind of get them. This is the type of person that would have things, have money saved, but they wouldn't flash it. So I kind of get somebody that's kind of subdued. All right. With their lifestyle. I don't get like a control, control it. Folks, this is so specific. This is so specific. This is somebody that likes a little bit of a subdued lifestyle. All right. I don't get that being like a super attention whore type in it. I don't get that. I even get they don't like nature. I know that sounds crazy. Or somebody that doesn't really like, I don't know why I'm getting this energy of, I don't get them being super religious either, not super spiritual or religious. So I don't get devout religion with this person, all right? There's a, I get like more of a money feel. They make good money, all right, is what I get. How else would um, Leo know when they've met their one, the one? Because they're going to, like, be super obsessed with you, devil. I mean, you can meet them around the summertime, or I get, for some of you, by next summer. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Who gives a shit, right? Or by next, well, this is two years from now. So it could be two years from now, a summer and two years from now. But I get this energy of somebody that's super obsessed. They're going to feel like a sense of clinginess coming from them, like a sense of clinginess. Don't tell me what's Miss Tuck. Don't do that to me. Don't say that to me. Don't tell me you take my predictions with a pinch of salt. Don't do it. It's because you ain't met them. Don't 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 put that on me. Did you get out enough? Did you get out enough? Did you get out the house and stop complaining? Did you did you stop complaining and actually get out the house? Then uh, answer that question before you talk about my previous predictions. Fuck, I look like. Don't come here criticizing shit I did two three years ago. Fuck, I look like. All right. I get this energy of. You'll know it's them. They're gonna you're gonna feel like they're super obsessed with you. I don't I get them somebody that somebody like to go out. I get they got money, 
but I don't get somebody who's super in your face with a tip being attention or somebody that likes a lot of attention. I, I would even say it's somebody that doesn't know they're beautiful or that they're handsome. Like, I feel like it's, the way it comes up to me, and I cannot explain it enough, that it's somebody that may actually be decent looking, but they don't know it. Or, you know, you know that song, what comes to my head is, you don't know you're beautiful. Oh, who gives a, what in the one direction is going on? But what I'm getting is, I don't get a bad looker. I get somebody that really doesn't know they look actually somewhat decent. All right. Oh, I'm not connecting them. Or... And I get they're a super hurt individual. A lot of y'all, when you meet your person, one thing, this is not just to Leo, this is to all the signs. When you meet your person, a lot of y'all are going to relate to the person due to y'all's past hurts. That's what y'all two will relate on. You're both two painful bitches coming together and being able to like heal each other for one. But also, it's almost like you two are meant for one another because you both literally went through hell to find one another. And so I get this person knowing that they found you and not wanting to let you go. And you'll know when you met them based off of the, what I just said. What's the biggest, giant, most biggest indicator that you've met them? Fair skin reversed. So they may be like olive skinned or from between olive and fair, somewhere in between those, you know, doesn't have to be, but that's what I kind of get. I don't get super old. I don't get super young. I get somebody that's super in the middle. All right, bye. I'm done. All right, bye, Leo. See ya. Have a good one. All right. Don't come in here and using that New York talk with me. Come on. Damn, this is mad long. I take my time with these reads. Don't rush me. Don't rush me. All right. I'll come in here with that New York talk to me. All right. Okay. Mad long. Bye. All right. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, let's go to Virgo now. Let's go to Virgo now. Thanks for the twenty. Uh, thanks for the twenty PG. Appreciate that. Thanks, Heather Stewart. No, I don't. Excuse me. Excuse me. You don't have to be impressed with the read. And why does that cat? What does that cat got around its neck? Is that like a collar or something, or is it trying to hang itself? I wouldn't blame it. All right, what about, what's around its neck? All right. Was it trying? What is it, was it trying to do? Put itself out of its misery, or was that a collar? What is that? What the hell is that? Bye. See ya. Have a good one. All right. Okay. Let's go to Virgo. Let's go to Virgo. All right. Thanks for the five, Nikki. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go to Virgo now. How will Virgo know when they've met their individual, their person, their boo thing? <laughs> Somebody put, every time he tells someone to go away, an angel gets its wings. There's a lot of wings with or angels with wings out there. I say it all the time. I bet they're fluttering around heaven right about now. A bunch of them. All right. If, I, if an angel gets its wings every time I dismiss someone, Lord, that they must be a lot of angels up there. All right. Bye. See ya. All right. <laughs> oh, one just got their wings. I said it. Bye. See ya. All right. Here we go. Okay. Let's go to Virgo now. Virgo, how do you know you, if you met your person or not? What's the biggest indicators when you met the one? The one means somebody that you want to be with, not a fly-by-night energy. We're not looking for fly-by-nights. We're looking for the one, all right? How will you know? They don't like to go out. That keeps coming out for whatever reason. This is somebody that likes to stay home. They're a stay-home type of bitch or somebody that likes a really laid-back, relaxed date, not somebody that wants to go out all the time. I'm not saying they won't go out. What I'm saying is one big indicator, you're going to be like, damn, they like to stay home, don't they? Or like to, they like to hang out at home. Hang out at home. I get they suck at texting too. <laughs> you know, like, don't let their, their suckiness at texting 
Don't let their suckiness of texting or bad freak you out. That's just something that they're not, that's not their biggest. I actually do watch Batty South. It's really good. I'm just mad that Roly and Slim got their ass beat. It's like I'm team Roly and Slim, but how are you going to get your ass beat by these other two? Come on. All right. I love Roly and Slim. Um, who gives a shit, right? Okay. This is somebody. Don't freak out, Virgo. When you meet this person, they suck at texting. I think you're going to communicate better with them in person as opposed to online online or through. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Here we go. It could be a former lover of yours or it's somebody that reminds you of them. You may, some of you are going to be like swayed by your future lover, the one you're going to be with. You're going to think, oh, this is reminding me of, you know, the last person. I don't get them being like your last person. They are a workaholic too. Some of you, I get you being swayed or feeling some type of way. One way you'll know it's them. Do you feel shaded because of they, their sucky communication? That's the biggest indicator. There's no, there's no big thing like, oh, look out for the mole on their face. They have a, uh, a figure eight on their asshole. No, listen to me. The biggest indicator is this. I get they do more work and you're going to feel like they're overly serious and their texting will suck to the point where you want to strangle the hoe because they didn't respond within five minutes. I get you going fucking berserk. I get you going all motherfucking mommy Darius on a hoe because they don't uh, text in time. All right. Listen to me. It's what it's telling me. What are you talking about? That's how you'll be able to figure it out. Don't let their, like I said, I think this is somebody that you'll be really shaded by their lack of texting or calls. But what's so funny is I feel like when you do, when you two get together, this is your future lover. When you get together, the communication is great in person. All right. That's what I feel. I think also they're, you're going to feel like they're too serious and want to work all the time. So it's a workaholic. Some of you, you're going you're to be like, damn, can you have fun sometimes? Why do you always work? I get the energy of that. All right. How else will they know? How else will they know? I love the movie Mommy Dearest too. No wire hangers. What are wire hangers doing in this closet when I told you no wire hangers ever? Christina, get out of that bed. What? I love that. That's what an epic scene, but sad, but epic. Damn. She went all crazy in a shit house rat. All right, uh, Joan Crawford. What a crazy ass bitch. And I don't mean to speak ill of the dead, but if that's what she was really like. Lord, she was uh, she was a freaking uh, literally a pill away from the straight jacket. What the hell got into her? All right, Christina, get out of that bed. Here we go, bitch. All right, some of you. What I get is. Let me get back to Virgo. Virgo, if you got somebody decent coming in, I get you being more so. This is going to be the type of connection that you think won't work, but it actually ends up working. You know how sometimes, Virgo, in life, you may have had times where you thought something was going to work and end up not doing it? This is the type of connection. It's going to be the opposite for you with this one. You're going to think it won't work, but it actually does. So it'll be the total opposite. All right? Say Beetlejuice three times. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, 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 Beetlejuice. Could be, could have Asian ties. They come up with Asian, or they may be like a, a tie to Asia, or they may talk about wanting to travel there. That's one big sign. Also, they're a mama's boy or a mama's girl. All right, they're a mama's boy or a mama's girl. They're a mama's boy or a mama's girl. There's something about mama. So you'll have to impress their mama. Watch somebody say, well, their mother's dead. Well, maybe it's not the one that you meant to meet. All right. What are you going to do? Try to impress their mother from the afterlife? What are you going to do? Go to a medium and say, can you contact my lover's mother and ask if she approves of us? She don't care. She's, over, she's freaking uh, six feet under. Or she's over there enjoying the clouds and the harps. Don't start with me. I know somebody, somebody's going to be smart about it. Well, they're actually, their mother's dead. 
then you know that's not then you know that don't apply. Leave it alone. What are you talking about? But I get for some of you having to impress their mama. Their mama will be of significance. All right. Their mother will be of significance. I don't know what's kind of made of that. <laughs> Something about an Asian tie. They don't have to be Asian, but I get you two would travel. It can be to Asia, somewhere in a, a country in Asia, somewhere. There's many places in Asia you can go. Why am I getting that? I don't get that they like to go out a lot. I get they're a workaholic, and you're going to be very shaded by their texting style. You're not going to like it. Like I said, you know, Virgo, you've had times where you thought something was going to work and it didn't. This is going to be the opposite. You're going to think, damn, this, this ain't the one. This ain't going to work. And it does. So it's the opposite. What you resist will persist. Bye. What you resist will persist. I get a decent person. I'm going to say to, everybody's getting water sign energy. Y'all, look out for water signs in love. I don't know why water keeps coming out. They don't have to be that, but that's what they're coming up as. I'm noticing a theme here of water signs. They're only going to, I just got, they're only going to want you. Because what I got in my head was, no matter through and through, all I want to be with you. You know, what in the hoodie and the blowfish is going on? What in the Darius Rucker? I get for some of you, I just said, what are through and through? I only want to be with you. So there are one per, one guy type of girl or one girl type of guy or a one guy type of guy or one girl type of girl. I get them being somebody that dislikes to be loyal to one person. So I get like a, a monogamous, which is a step in the right direction. Bye, see ya. All right. I'm a 90s kid. Just go along with it. Okay. Let's see. How will Libra know who their uh, person is? How will, uh, let's see. How will this person know? I'm sorry. How will Libra know who this person? I was about to say, how does this person, how will this person know who Libra is? How will Libra know who this person is? Okay. Let's do Libra. Let's do Libra. How will you know? Mm, I don't get they like to travel a lot. So they may be very local to you or somebody likes doesn't like to travel. Or I don't get them being the type that goes out a lot or like goes places a lot. Like I get them being kind of a homebody. I don't know why I get, that keeps coming out today for a lot of people. So a lot of you about to hit, meet a lot of homebody bitches. All right. You're going to think I'm fucking crazy. Can I ask you a personal question? And if you, even if you say no, I'm going to still ask anyways. Do you like, uh, my thing is, do you like people that are overly sexual? If you do, this ain't the, you ain't going to like this one. This one don't like to have a lot of sex. I get them being somebody that has, they got the passion reversed. If you're somebody that is not overly sexual, then this could be somebody for you. Otherwise, I'm going to tell you to skip this one because there may be somebody that you meet, uh, Libra. But it's your future one, though. I get to say somebody that's not, not, they don't need sex to be with you. I know that sounds crazy. You don't think I'm crazy. One big indicator, you're going to feel like they're not attracted to you because they're not very sexual, but that's not really the truth. Some of you, they may have like, I don't know what that's trying to tell me. I'm not going to do you a second story. This is what it's telling me, folks. I'm not saying they don't have sex. What I'm saying is they're not somebody that likes to have it all the time. I get them being kind of like a low, what is that called? Low libido? Or low stamp. What does that mean? What does that mean? Low what? Lighter featured. So they could be black with lighter features, white with more lighter features. I get more of a. I get like a lighter featured. I'm not going to say blonde, but I'm because I got blonde person here. I get them being more light featured than anything. So that's one big indicator. All right. This is so weird. I get this energy of like somebody who's laid back. I don't get an overly sexual person. I don't get an overt sexuality with this person. I got to tell you what I get. I'm not going to make shit up, folks. I'm not. Yeah, they like to screw. You're going to be, you know, wetter than Hurricane Katrina. You're going to be wetter than the motherfucking, um, you know, Pacific Ocean. No. I get when you two will screw, it's going to be like an event. All right. Lay out the confetti and lay out the decorations. That's going to be an event. Like I get this energy. <laughs> 
shouldn't have said that so insensitive. But since when have I been um, uh, politically correct? Go along with it, all right? I don't, I get when you do get wet, it'll be, a, or when you do get somebody wet, or when you too fuck, it's like an occasion. Why am I getting that shit? I don't know why I'm getting that. It's so weird. That's so weird. Sorry if I offended anybody. I should have just said wetter than a hurricane. But it's like, I don't get this energy of, I probably, I'm going to get canceled one day. I don't want to. Oh, my life's too good to be. Um, there's something about this person that's not, oh, I don't get overt sexuality. I'm going to go ahead and be real with you. I thought they're lighter featured. That's what I keep getting. I can't, I can't make up something, folks. I'm sorry. I'm not going to make this up. Don't tell me to do a part two. Okay. You will be with them. That's the funny. Here's the irony. Well, I don't know if it, I don't know if irony should be said or if it's more so. Libra, yours is the weirdest read of the day. Like I don't get them being somebody with overt sexuality. Like I'm not saying sex won't happen, but what I'm saying is it's like it's more of an event. Or I'm not getting them be somebody that's like humping you like a dog 24 seven. I don't get that. Also, get you may have a child with this person, or does a child already present? All right. Sorry, I'm not gonna make up a storyline. Get them falling for you. They're gonna fall for you fast. They'll fall for you fast. And I get it, somebody that likes to take accountability. So it's not somebody that would ignore where they went wrong. Like when they do something wrong, they'll be the first to tell you. All right, what I feel. I don't. Why is the passion reversed? I don't get an overt sexuality with this person. I gotta be real with you. Like they'll enjoy the connection, but I get sexually there things may kind of fall short in that department. I'm not sure what that means, but it looks like I don't want some of you to miss out on something good because the sex sucks or something's falling short sex wise. All right. I don't know why I want to keep telling you that. Because it says a lack of sex. All right. Some of you they may be at a distance or somebody that um They may even, you're going to think I'm fucking crazy. You're going to think I'm insane. Libra, they may even have a past of some sort. And I'm going to say this. They got imprisonment reversed. They may even, have, back in their younger years, they may have had some type of past. If you were to do a background check, there may be like a, you know, something on the background. But I don't get nothing by too horrible. I know you don't like me right now. I get it. But I'm. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to make up a storyline to fit your narrative. I'm sorry. We all meet people some days that we never thought we would have fallen for years ago. But maybe you're, so I'm saying, sometimes the person you meet may not be exactly what you had in mind, but you end up falling head over heels. So don't give me that bullshit. So I'm saying, thanks, little chicken, for the 20. Think about all the duds you've fallen for before. Were you picky then? And why are you all of a sudden picky? Thanks, Cody, for the uh, 449. Thank you so much, Cody Todd. All right, thank you so much. Thanks for the 20, uh, Little Chicken. Thanks, as always, Heather Stewart. It was nice meeting you as well at the uh, meetup or the meet and greet. Um, Libra, this person is not perfect, but it may just be something that shocks you that you end up falling for. And keep in mind, this is your future D1. It may be somebody, ooh, the saying, all right? I keep getting this, like, sign that they don't like to get out a lot or travel a lot. I feel like they're very like homebody or like they like to stay in their hometown or stay where they're dwelling at. I don't know why I get that. Just keep that in mind. Some of you won't play out at all. Some of you, you're, you're going to come back and say, damn, you was bought on one. I'm sorry it's weird, but I'm not going to make up a story to sit there and fit your narrative of what you thought was going to come out in the reads. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not. You're going to stop. I ain't going to be all this bitch anymore. I'm not your personal bitch anymore. All right? Come out, do a second story. That's what came out. All right, if the card comes out that way and the story comes out that way, that's what's meant to come out. It's not about what you want. All right. If you could, what are you trying to do? Build a bitch? We're gonna do a build a bear. You want to build your future lover? Well, let's give them some stuffing here. Let's give them a voice box here. Let's put a mute button right here. Let's give them cute little ears and a cute little rabbit. No, you don't you can't create folks. All right. They come in like they come in, and it's your choice whether you want to do it or not. All right.
I'll let those comments slide, all right? Let's go to Scorpio now. Go to Scorpio now. Okay. All right. How will Scorpio know the second they meet their person, if that's their forever lover or not, the one they're meant to be with for a long time, if not forever? Super cold. You're going to feel like, damn, they don't express shit. And it could even be an air sign for some of you to come up as the. They're going to approach you. I get this being the person that would approach you, you not approaching them. I don't care if you're male or female, Scorpio. This is somebody that would initiate with you. All right. Super spiritual. They may have a spirituality about them. I get they're really spiritual. All right. So they may have a belief that's of significance that would indicate, oh, Tyler said they were going to be spiritual, and here they are. Something spiritual about them. I don't know if they're into this type of thing, like tarot, or if it's more so just spiritual. All right. Something spiritual about them. It's a some of you, it's somebody you already know, or it's somebody that would remind you of somebody you know. All right. It may be kind of reminiscent. How would they know? They could even be at a distance. Some of you from me. Some of you meet them at a distance, or distance is prominent at first. All right. I just got my head. Don't let that think. Don't let that make you think it couldn't come together because of a distance. Distance won't be an issue at all. Where there's a will, there's a way. What's meant for you won't pass you by, right? Scorpio, I get this energy of somebody that's kind of cold with their emotions, all right? But they make up in other ways, all right? I get a very spiritual person, all right? I'm not getting a super shy energy, not the type of person that would let you approach them. They may, even if they're like a female, like whether they embody the masculine in the sense that they like to pursue. This is somebody that would come towards you, not you having to go towards them. I get them approaching you. If you're not, listen to me. If you have to approach this person, it ain't the one. Stop being desperate. Sit down, desperate, uh, desperate, you know, whatever, sit down. What I get is this energy of somebody that would approach you. The one big indicator, you'll know if it's them, if they if they approach you. All right. But I do get a bit of how else will, uh, will, um, how else will Scorpio know if this is um, they embody the masculine in regards to approaching you. All right. Some of you, they could have foreign ties or I don't get them being it could even be somebody that's not from Amer from America or from like, like like only people live in America or from your area. Let's say you live wherever you live on the on the globe. I don't get them being somebody that's, I get more of a transplant feel. The way it comes, listen, don't start with me. Don't start with me. It could be somebody that comes from a different location. Like, let's say you're in Canada. They could come from America. Let's say you're in America. They could come from Canada or Europe. Let's say you're in India. They could come from, you know, wherever. So I'm saying? So it's like, it looks like it's somebody that's a transplant to your area or a transplant period. They're not from where you're from. All right. And they have trust issues, too. You may even feel like they're a little bit possessive, like wondering where you're at or thinking you're always cheating. I get that being one indicator, too. All right? I'm not connecting to these reads, folks. It could be somebody you already know or it's somebody that strongly is reminiscent of somebody you knew. I'll put it that way. I don't get them being a big money maker. I got to be real with you. They ain't going to let you get away. This would be the type of bitch that you'd have to leave. They wouldn't leave you. Guess what? This would be the type of bitch you'd have to leave. They wouldn't leave you. So for once, you're not going to be left. You're, you're the bitch that has to decide if you want to leave it or not. They're going to like be right up your ass. They're going to be so far stuck up your ass, they can tell you what you wash your ass with. They can tell you the brand of soap you use or body wash. They can tell you what tampon brand you use or for the men, what, what the men don't. <laughs> what type of you know underwear you wear, if it's Hanes, they can tell like, this is the type of bitch I would feel like a bit obsessive, to be real with you. And I get, this is going to be the type of person that loves you more than you love them. And maybe that's something you need. Scorpio, didn't I tell you that before? Wait a second. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. If I'm not mistaken, didn't I just tell you a similar message the other day that you need to find somebody that loves you more than you love them? Is this confirmation? Please tell me, you may call me out if I'm wrong or not, but did I not just say that the other day? I could have swore I said that. For Scorpio, not for the others, for Scorpio. 
You need somebody that loves you more than you love them. That's the key to keeping them staying around. You're trying to stop trying to go for the ones you know that are not obtainable and let somebody approach you that, you know, that would be more for you than you would. That's the type of bitch you need. All right. I don't get a super money maker. I don't get a super money maker. I would say more so, I get that they're cold emotionally, but they have emotions. They might not be the type that's like, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. But I get them being super obsessed with you, all right? And something about they're not from your area or your country. Some of you are not from your country. Some of you are just not from your part of the part of the country. You know, I get them being like a transplant to your area. Like if you were to ask them where they're from, it's somewhere you're not from, basically, all right? That's confirmation that you're going to meet somebody that loves you more than you love them. And that's something you need. It could be an Aries, Taurus. Look out for a fire sign with earth. Maybe we want to look out for a fire sign with earth or earth with fire. So they could have a Taurus sun and an Aries moon or a Capricorn sun and a, and a, and a um, Sagittarius rising. Or they could have, they could be uh, Aries with a uh, earth sign moon or, you know, whatever the case may be. Like they could be a multitude of like, a different type of thing. I get fire and earth primarily. All right, is what I feel. And they'll approach you. Stop approaching hoes. You may not be the type that approaches people, so you don't take that advice. Let this person come to you. They'll come to you. All right. Hi from hey to uh, Arabia from Pakistan. Shout out to you, Arabia from Pakistan. Okay. All healing has to start with you. Some of you need to heal completely before you find anybody. You need to heal entirely from something or other situations or just experiences. Let them be experiences. See them as that and, and move on. All right. It doesn't need to be brought with you. All right. Well, thank you, Katie, for saying that. Katie, Katie Z. I just got to look out for an M initial. M. I get an I and G. Look out for initials of that. All right. Who gives a shit, right? I even get Y. All right. Y. Why am I getting letters? Because I got Iggy. I could be uh, channeling from earlier Iggy. And then I got a letter M as well. All right. So that could be, and uh, let's look out for those initials. All right. They could be like first initials. Who gives a shit, right? Okay. How would, um, how would Sagittarius know when they've met their future one? What's the biggest indicator that they'll see? Good and good health, good health. Very spiritual, which is uh, I'm seeing a reoccurring theme of spirituality here. Very spiritual. Can even be of the Christian faith or somebody who's not into the, the way it comes up to me. It's somebody that devoutly Christian. And I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say Christian, but what I'm gonna say is there's somebody that's got. A belief that restricts them, like they may have a restrictive belief of some sort. Why am I getting that? If it's not that, I just get super spiritual. Disregard the whole devout religious thing. I get spirituality as a part of it. They are a spiritual brother or sister. All right. Could be. They've been a constant victim of unrequited love and good health. Very good health. Some of they may be into like, what I get is they may be into health. Are they really conscious about their health? Like the type of bitch that would be vegan. I'm not saying they are. I'm just giving you an example. I'm giving you an example. The type of bitch that would eat certain foods. That way they can be healthy or feel healthy. It can be for spiritual. Something about spiritual is a part of this. And I don't know to what degree. All right? So just take that as you want. Let's see. What, how else do they know if, they, if Sagittarius has met their person? What's the biggest indicator that they can find? First of all, you're going to date them. That's good. That's a goal. Could be younger or there's somebody that's kind of, I get you dating them. All right. I get you to, you two are going to start off by dating. So it'll probably be a slow burner connection, but it's your one. So that's a good, you know. I get that they've experienced multiple unrequited love situations. So when they meet you, they're going to appreciate you because they're going to see a sense of genuineness, genuineness coming from you. All right. If that makes any sense. Something about that good health. They're in good health. 
but it could be fit or just in good health. Like somebody that's really health conscious. I get spiritual as well. I don't know why I keep getting that. They also have an X that like, I feel like they're also, the one big indicator is there may be an X that's kind of uh, mingles with y'all, not mingles with y'all, what is that word? That uh, tries to tamper with y'all's connection. So they may have an outside X that tries to interfere with y'all. They don't want to see you with their person that they feel like is their person. That's going to be an indicator too. You know my predictions come true. Why do y'all guess? Why do y'all second guess it in the moment? You know I can predict stuff. Why do you second guess it? All right. There's something about them. Look out for the biggest indicator of spiritual. Are they in good health? Check one. On a spiritual level, I don't know what type of spirituality. I just know that something about spiritual there. Could even be somebody that's into health food or somebody that's really into like being healthy. All right. Like eating wise, food wise. They could be thick and still be in the. Oh, um, bye. I don't give a shit. You will date them at first. It'll be a slow burner dating connection. All right. I'm telling you, there's something about spiritual there. They could be amongst the Christianity religion or some religion that's kind of restrictive. All right. I don't know why. I don't know why I keep getting about religion or spiritual. I could be totally wrong, but I'm getting the energy of somebody that's spiritual. They keep coming up with angelic, spiritual, spiritual cards. All right. What I feel. And there's not a lot of spiritual cards in this deck. So that's kind of crazy that it's coming out like that. Um, that's what I feel. Good. I actually see a decent person here. But I think there's also going to be an ex that doesn't like y'all's connection or that prize on y'all's connection. All right. It's not somebody they're actually with. It's one that can't let your person go that you meet. All right. What's another big indicator? And I'm going to Capricorn. Super business focused. Super may seem a bit stubborn in business and career. Even with money, they seem stubborn. Like there, that could be a big focus of theirs. It could be a little bit greedy with money as to a degree, or doesn't like to spend a whole lot. All right. It's, at the same time, bye, Cap Sagittarius. See ya. Have a good one. All right. I could be wrong about that, but I'm gonna leave you with that. All right. Some of you that'll make sense to you down the line. You know, if you're waiting on your, uh, I'm doing five uh, cameos a day to, to get. So some of you will be up amongst the group today. Some of you'll be amongst the group tomorrow or the day after that. But I don't want to wear myself out. I want to make sure I give you a very good um, uninterrupted read. If you ordered a cameo, expect it in the next three to five business days, basically. All right. Actually, no, take it back. Next two to three days, I'd say. All right. And I'll have it to you. All right. Let's go to Capricorn. Excuse me. Let's go to Capricorn. Thanks. Very happy for that. Very happy Mondays. Thank you so much. Let's go to Capricorn. Start with the tarot first. Let's go to Capricorn. Let's go to Capricorn. Okay. How will, how will Capricorn know when they've met this future lover? The one that's meant to be there for a long time. Not a fly by night, but the actual real one. Could be an earth sign like you or Scorpio. It will be something that's marriage potential. You'll have, you know how you'll know? You'll have a lot of back and forth. Oh, I know you don't like me, Capricorn. So you don't like me anyways. I'll just keep telling you. Fuck that, son. You know how you'll know? No. <laughs> Bye, potato. Bye. Okay. You know how you'll know, Capricorn, the, I mean, there's nothing you have to look for. This I'll tell you exactly what to look for. You will feel like this won't last because you two will stop dealing with one another, then come back around to one another, stop dealing with one another, then come back. It's a stop-start connection at first, right? I get a lot of times you two go in circles. It'll feel like, damn, this felt like great, but why is it not working? But it does. Fortune favors the brave. I just got in my head. Are you brave enough to deal with this hope? So I'm saying where it's on and off. One big indicator. There's nothing you have to look out for. Don't look out for a, you know, a, a, if they have a droopy eye or one nipple's off by 
you know, a degree or two or, or you know, if they got, uh, you know, hair on their back. I don't know. You'll be, look, it'll be like this. Womp, womp, womp. Not all the time, I'm saying. It'll be start, stop, start, stop. But it ends up in something good. I get that this is going to be the type of person when you meet them, they'll have to see you get away before they realize how important you are. All right. So I feel like you will have a lot of ebbs and flows with them, but it ends up well is what I get. All right. What's it? Give me a physical indicator of who they are. Give me a physical indicator of who they are. I don't get this being somebody that likes to date a lot. What I get is they're like a one woman type of guy, one woman type of girl, one guy type of uh, woman or one guy type of guy. Like there's somebody that dislikes one and just sticks with one, all right? Sexual, wants to fuck you all day and twice on Sundays, all right? Could be white or has white features. They come up as the fair male, so fair skin with white features. I'll just put it that way, all right? Very sexual. I get that there's a one person type of person. They don't like the whole bunch of bitches, all right, is what I feel. What makes it on and off? Let's add step. What makes it on and off at first? Somebody won't grow. <laughs> also, you know, I'm hoping somebody's not already involved at first. Let's just not hope it's like that because I got union as to why it won't work at first. Some of you, it's not even that they're involved. It could be somebody. Somebody, you may trigger their commitment issues, but eventually they settle down with you. So I guess it really ends well. So basically, unfortunately, I won't even say unfortunately because everything's a lesson. If you think it, if you look at it as a lesson, you'll see it as a lesson. You know what I'm saying? For what it's supposed to be seen like. It will start off choppy. It will have its ebbs and flows. It will go through points where it breaks up and then you two come back together. All right, is what I feel. So your future lover or marriage potential is somebody who you feel like won't be there for long. You'll feel like immediately like, okay, this ain't gonna fucking work. And it does, kind of like similar to a reading I just did. I get commitment issues at first, but commitment issues won't last as I get that they'll eventually settle down with you. All right. So if you feel a sense of somebody being non-committal, don't let that be, don't let that sway you. I get more of a light, fair skinned person. All right. Very sexual. All right. How else will um, Capricorn know who this person is? May not like children or want children. I'll put it out there. May not like them or want them. All right. You will end up with them. This is more of a channel read. You will end up with them. Give me one. What's the biggest giant, most biggest indicator that Capricorns met them? They, they're into nature. So one other big thing is they're into nature. Could even be travels or nature. All right. I get this being the type of person that likes to go out into nature or like they love the outside, the, you know, nature, mountains, trees, you know, animals. All right. May like things very natural. All right. Is what I feel. It's going to be a rocky one, but it look, it pays off. All right. It pays off more sign than we're done. They have super trust issues. So they may actually be super paranoid that you're cheating. You're the type that cheats. So I get them being the type like one to know where you're at or like really kind of possessive to a degree. Not super crazy Ted Bundy possessive. I'm talking about just a little bit of a little bit of a insecurity with you know trust. All right, is what I feel. You will end up marrying this person. That'll be your future marriage person. It's super rocky at first. It will not start off as smooth sailings. Let me go ahead and let you know. It's not a smooth seller. All right. It's one that's a little bit rocky. All right. It's going to be like one of them type of connections where you want to fuck around and have a hoe come up missing. Like you, like I'm not kidding. It's like almost you know that passionate type of love where you can't stand the person but you also love them, but you wouldn't mind if they fucked around and came up missing. That type of love, like you know what I'm saying, that type of love where you're fantasizing at night. You know what you're gonna, you know what you could do. <laughs> I'm done. No, I'm not going to say you're going to end up on you know 48 hour mystery or oxygen snap. But I, what I will say is they're going to frustrate the fuck out of you, all right? That's one. Biggest indicator, Ian, you got to, here's my thing. Biggest indicator, Capricorn, do they drive you fucking crazy when you meet them? And is it on and off? You'll know that's the one, all right? And they're fair skin, all right? Did it? Should I get that out? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Y'all kill me. <laughs> all right, let's go, let's go to Aquarius now. Upright only for the what? Upright only. So 
a fight only for who they're, how you know this person. Ooh, they tell everybody about you, but you. <laughs> They'll tell everybody about how they feel about you, but you. So everybody will know their crush, their feelings for you, but you. They have a friend. They have friends they tell things to or their family. You're going to feel like what you're going to what it is. You're going to feel like they have something for you, but they're not telling you. And what I get is they'll tell everybody else about how they feel about you, but you. Could even be involved with others when you meet them, but you are obviously going to end up with them. So therefore, your person may be somebody whose options are open when you meet them. Also, get they have commitment issues. You'll be the person that changes their shitty ways with commitment. Yeah, I said it. So I'm saying upright only for this. I, I got my head upright only. You will end up with this person, folks, but I get, why do they gossip? You know what you're going to think? They could be older, right? Around your age or older. And I feel like you're going to think, okay, you too old to be acting so immature. It's almost like they would more so talk about you than to you, if that makes any sense. Like it's somebody that where the, you everybody around them that they're connected to would know their feelings for, for you before you even knew yourself. So I'm saying, so I get this energy of somebody that kind of maybe coy with their feelings or afraid of, you know, of their feelings. Thanks, Carrie D for that 50. Thank you so much. They could be around your age or older. Pops will uh, Aquarius know who this is. They make decent coins. They get decent money. They harbor their feelings. It keeps talking about they harbor their feelings. Also, one big indicator. Okay, I'm going to say something very specific and you may not agree with it. I don't care. They're either one, I'm going to say the first story, they're either one in the process of moving when you meet them, and that's one big indicator, like literal moving, or they're literally out of a marriage or real strong long-term relationship. They're out of it, all right? So around the time you meet them, they're transitioning from point A to point, listen to me, point A to point, listen to me, point A, listen, point, listen, you ain't listening Around the time that you, you, you're meeting them, they're transitioning in some shape, form, or fashion. It's either, listen to me, it's either from a, another home, from one home to the next, or they could be in like transitioning from a relationship, like that they were married to, or that they were strongly long term committed to. They're out of that, or they're transitioning at the moment you meet them. They, they're even going to tell you about it, or they're even going to tell you about it, all right? You know what? They actually may be kind of hesitant with you because they're out of something, or they feel like it's not the right time. But you're gonna be the one they settle down with. I don't care what they, what type of drama they give you. All right? Can you tell me what they look like physically? I got more fair with brown hair, or light skin with brown hair. Orphan is how you would know. They may have abandonment issues. They may have mommy and daddy issues I'm not saying they're a little orf literal orphan they're out there singing tomorrow tomorrow out on out there on the cobblestone steps in the rain no what i'm saying is because i got orphan as to how you would know who so abandonment issues plagues this bitch all right so whether it's it could be from a parent i got uh, one second they're gonna, you know what's so funny they're going to tell you about all their issues you want to feel like, this is what I get you literally saying, of course, okay, when are we going to talk about us? Why are we constantly talking about your issues? When are we going to talk about us, bitches? So I'm saying, why am I getting that? Like, I get this is the type of person that would divulge, they kiss and tell, they tell people about y'all two's connection, but they're not somebody that's direct with you. It's like they keep you out of the loop about your own love life, all right, is what I feel. Like, when are we going to start talking about us and, and stop talking about you for five seconds? When are we going to talk about it? I can't get that type of energy, all right? You will end up with them. I mean, it's a water sign. Everybody's getting water signs today. I'm not even going to keep. I'm telling you, they're transitioning from something out of their life around the time you meet them. Bye, Aquarius. See ya. Have a good one. All right. Okay. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's see. All right. <laughs> no it's fine it's fine marvin thank you for the five appreciate that thank you so much uh thanks carrie d thanks marvin and thanks carrie d That's, no you're good you're good don't worry about it
decent person, Aquarius. I just don't like their approach towards you when you meet them. I don't like their approach. It's kind of childish if you ask me, Aquarius. Their approach will be that of childishness. Like, how are you going to sit here and, and squabble and talk about it to your friends? Oh, I like this person, but not telling you directly. Like, I get a little bit of a childish approach. It starts off childish, folks, unfortunately. But it's somebody you end up with, so who gives a shit, right? So even if they're not telling people, I feel like they just keep you in the dark about their feelings for you at first. It's kind of fucking childish if you ask me, all right? So when you meet that person, that's what it's telling me. All right, water, fire. Okay, let's go to Pisces now. Let's go to the crybabies that cry about how long their reading is. Always send me email and message. Don't email me about... Don't email me about the time on this read. How did that was only five seconds? No, it was not. You just want something to bitch about. Last night, they even complained. I had a few complain. We were first on the lineup, but you were still very uh, very fast with the read. What do you want me to do? Sit here, let me sing your ABCs with you too. Let me go walk around with you and, and go out on the scene with you. I'm going to go sh clothes shopping together and try on clothes together. What do you want me to do? Be your best friend? Go out, you know, have some drinks, go out, go out in the town. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Why do I like cheese? Why do I do my laundry? Why am I a hoe? I had to get that out. Sorry. What in the Billy eyelash is going on, right? But what do you want from me, Pisces? Because I just literally put y'all first on the lineup last night and y'all still complaining, saying, no, this, you put us first, but it still is too short. What do you want me to do? Is what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get your pinky in onesie. <laughs> okay. How will you know if you met your person or not? Queen of Pentacles. Business woman, businessman, somebody that makes decent coins. Bye, see ya. Maybe a bit of a hurt person or somebody that's been through some things. And you're going to say, well, everybody's been through some things. But for them, it's emphasized. It's like they may be the type that kind of keeps their heart close to their chest. I don't get it being somebody that's kind of like super, I'm not saying they won't offer nothing. But what I'm saying is I kind of get the synergy of somebody that's going to get a little bit of a trust problem with them. They could have trust issues. All right. How else will Pisces know if this is their person or not? Ooh -wee. They may have mommy issues. Why mother? They may have mother issues. Why is their mother an issue? How the mother reverse? They may have. They have resisting. Resisting. They have residual energy, negative energy. I'll put it that way. With a mother. All right. I get negative. It's almost like it's like this very negative of. Uh, like, you'll know who they are. They may even tell you. Obviously, they're going to tell you because this is how you know who they are. Talking about a mother. They have mommy issues. So I think once you get to know them, they'll start to reveal stuff about their mother. All right? What I feel are issues with the mother. Orphan and mother is what it says. So it could be that they felt like they have abandonment issues with a mother. All right? Who gives a shit? Right? Oh, I'm trying to say it. You're also going to be very thrown off by the fact that this person seems very aloof and all about work, money, and career. But don't let that freak you out. That's just their uh, persona or that's their uh, facade. All right. Could be a Leo. I also get water. Leo, everybody's getting water and fire. I can't help it, folks. Everybody's getting water and fire signs. So look out for water and fire signs. It could be at a distance from you. You could meet them at a distance. Some of you may travel with them or maybe travels you two do. Fair skin reverse. Either they're like they're like skin, but they're not like super light. I get more so like somebody who's kind of like olive skin. It keeps that car comes out for every sign. That damn fair male. There's a lot of there's a lot of cars in this deck for it to keep coming out like that. Lots of texting with this person. Lots of online communication, text, phone calls. All right. I get more about older energy, but not like super old. But I get older. I don't know why I get that. Fair, why is the fair skinned person reversed? I don't know. It is energy of somebody that's like fair skinned, but they're like not they're not like super fair. All right. 
may seem indecisive at first. Okay, give me one big, big, giant, massive indicator. They love to play games. They love a good argument. They love to play games. All right? Love a good game. They will purposely go out of their way to make you feel like shit. And it's like a way of testing you or make because you got the five of swords. That's my tech. That's my testing card. That's my playing games purposely card. So you met the it's like the like the ass the big ass hat card, right? So I get for some of you, this person you're gonna feel like they do things purposely, and it's like a way to test you or to get your go. They're doing it purposely. So you're gonna notice then are just are they like trying to do this stuff to me, or is it something they're doing inadvertently, or they're not trying to be that way? No, they they really are playing games. All right. Sorry. Give me another sign. They'll know who this is, their future lover, or the one that's for them. I'm hoping it's not somebody you already know that come back and they maybe you two are meant to come back to one another, or if it's somebody that reminds you of the past person, all right? I get a little bit of a commitment issue with them. But why am I getting that? Actually, it works out. Clearly, it's the one you're going to be with. But I get this energy of somebody that you're going to feel like they're being cold purposely or playing games purposely. Like you may feel like a little bit of an immaturity from them. All right. I get that. I'm get, I get they're going to test you a lot. And it's a businesswoman, businessman. They could own their own business or they're very, very work savvy, work focused, whether they work for somebody else or work for themselves. I get them being super work focused. They could be at a distance or it's somebody that you, that you travel, you're going to end up traveling with. All right. You two travel. I don't know why I get that. What you want to tell Pisces, please? Um, there, will, there will be a little bit of tip for tat energy between you two with that five of swords. I also get it'll be something that starts and stops, like on and off. One minute you two aren't speaking, then all of a sudden you're having a second chance with one another. It feels like it's something that's on and off at first, but turns out well. Keep in mind, it's the, how you've met the one, how you know you've met the one. It's clearly the one you're going to be with. But I do get a little bit of testy energy and a little bit of a weird wonky energy with testing or feeling like they're testing you or playing games all right so there's the read i'm not gonna sit there and keep uh and keep pulling cards to make the fill for time Pisces. i said what i said all right and, here, and then i go right back into pulling cards could be very spiritual it could be very spiritual all right um You know what wouldn't surprise me if they keep in touch with people they were in relationships with? Why did I get that? For some of you, one big indicator, you're going to feel kind of shaded because they keep in touch with people they used to deal with, but it's not on that level no more, but they may keep in touch with people they had these flings with. Or what? I don't know why I get that. That's going to throw you off. It's your future person, but I don't know why I got that. I never got that before. That's kind of strange. So I'm going to leave you with that, Pisces. All right? So that's one big indicator you've met them. Bye. See ya. Have a good one. Okay. Bye, y'all. See ya. Thank you so much for watching. Time for me to give me some lunch. Bye, y'all. See ya. Thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks. If I missed your super chat, if I didn't acknowledge you, I promise you it's not purposely. Sometimes I don't see them. But thanks for everybody. Thanks, super, thanks to my super chatters, my comments. Thanks to people that share my videos. Subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank you.